So we are here at the drop terminal to uh, make sure that the power level uh, reaching this location are at the right levels. Um, prior to actually testing the power here, we're going to make sure that the connectors are in good shape. Uh, to do so, we'll be using an FIP 435B, which is a Wi-Fi Pro, uh, fitted with the right connector adapter. So in this case, we're using an OptiTap connector adapter because the drop terminal uh, uses this type of connector. Um, to see the image of the connector, we'll be using a smartphone in this example, uh, which is a, uh, an Android phone. We could be using also an iPhone or an iPad or an actual uh, X4 tester that is compatible with this inspection probe. If the connectors are uh, dirty or um, in bad shape, so we're going to be using a cleaner. Uh, in this example, we'll be using a mechanical cleaner, which is the dry cleaning method. And then when we are sure that the connectors are in good shape, we'll be testing uh, the actual power level using a PPM 350C. This unit can measure uh, the power at 1490 nanometer and at 1550 nanometer as well, downstream from the CO. Uh, in this testing, we're going to ex expect only 1490 nanometer. Uh, we know that there is no RF overlay on this network, but if there was a, an RF overlay in a, uh, signal, we could be testing it as well. All right, so the next thing we're going to be uh, doing here is the actual inspection of the connector at the drop terminal to make sure that it's in, in good shape. Uh, one thing we have to, um, to mention and make sure uh, that we understand is that there's a key on those connectors. So this assembly here in my hand is actually the exact same thing that we do have in the drop terminal. So for this example, I just uh, use this piece here uh, to have a better view. So there's a key here. That key uh, has to be aligned with a dot on the tip. So uh, aligning this dot with the key will ensure that the angle of the connector will correspond to the angle of the lenses inside the probe. So this is, these are APC connectors. Very important to take care of this. Um, the other thing, since we're dealing with the APC connectors, is to make sure that uh, the software that, uh, that we're going to use uh, to assess the connector health knows that we're using APC connectors. So uh, it's very simple. There's a test configuration control here. We push on this. And uh, this test configuration will allow us to, um, to select the APC IEC standard. So we see here IEC, single mode, single fiber, APC. That's the one we have to use. So um, in this case, it was already selected. So we, uh, we make sure it's on like this. And um, then we go back to live mode. And basically, uh, the, uh, the software and the probe is, uh, knows that it is set to, to test APC connectors. So when we're ready to, uh, to actually do the testing, all we have to do now is connect the probe in the port. And since it's, since it's an automated probe, uh, there is no user interven intervention. So uh, the centering, focus, and everything is done automatically. So we see the LED here flashing, the probe is working, uh, analyzing the connector, capturing the image, and an analyzing as per the IEC standards. So we see the LED on the probe here, it's green. So this is a good sign, it's a pass, so that, that means that the connector is clean. And if we want to go further, we can look at the image on the smartphone. But as soon as you have a green LED on your probe, uh, you don't even have to, uh, to look at the image on the screen. Uh, you know right from right on the probe if the connector is good. At this stage here, we're, uh, we're at the drop terminal. We're going to measure uh, the power level. Prior to measure the power level, we have to make sure that the threshold uh, selection is correct. Uh, to do so, we have to press the threshold key here. If we press the threshold key, we're going to see the various uh, threshold being shown on the screen. The one that we'll be using here is the ONTG. G stands for GPON. Um, we're going to select the ONT threshold because at the drop terminal, we're expecting very similar levels to uh, the one that we're going to measure at the ONT. Uh, once we are the, on the right threshold, we hit the, the key name select. This key here will actually select this, uh, this threshold set. Um, now I'm ready to connect the unit. Uh, before doing the connection, a quick note on the ports that we have on this unit. Uh, in, this, in this one here, we have a VFL. Uh, on the one you will have, you may not have the VFL, but you do have this, these other two connectors. One is labeled ONT, one is labeled OLT slash video. 
So um, in this, uh, this location here, we're going to connect the OLT slash video port to measure what's going down, coming down from the CO. Uh, to do this testing here, I'm using a jumper, which is a golden jumper that I know it's in good shape, connectors are good, insertion loss is low. That's the one I'm using to do my test. So I'm going to connect the SC APC connector into the OLT slash video port. I'm just going to remove the dust cap here, connect this here and this port. And of, of course, the other end of that jumper is actually connected in uh, the drop terminal port that I'm going to use to activate this customer. Uh, in this example here, we, sh we see a green light under the 1490 wavelength. Uh, this is the uh, OLT signal, that, that means it, it's in range. Um, we also have the 15, 15 nanometer LED pass fail uh, leading red. Uh, it's totally normal in this uh, network here. We do not have an RF video overlay. And uh, we're not connected into a pass-through, and obviously the ONT is not installed at the customer location, so we, we have a red light for the ONT. Uh, again, totally normal in this example.